for you. Okay, through here, Kevin. Hi, guys. Good on you, Kevin. I'm not going to stand back and simply allow our nurses to be forced onto AWAs under John Howard's laws. Yeah. I'm from a family of nurses. You know, my mum was a nurse, my brother's a nurse, my sister's a nurse, my sister-in-law's a nurse. I'm the non-nurse. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> Can we get a photo of the nurses with you, Kevin? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I don't really know how much you can get out of something like that. Hot news, Kevin Rudd is against workplace legislation. I know, you heard it from us first. Hello David speaking. A lot of uh, smiling faces, kissing babies. Sure. Um, you're gonna have the sound of a bus in the background. We're going to a high school now in Parramatta. We'll be doing a little bit of um, educational revolution and stuff. We're ending up in Canberra. It's um, SBS Happy Meet. They want five minutes time. Waiting without any reference to the Australian people and now without any reference to the Liberal Party. Uh, are you fundamentally opposed to BSU and would the Labour government bring back compulsory student union unionism? I'm not about to bring back compulsory student unionism. What we do want to see, however, is the proper provision of funds <coughs> to ensure that common services at universities are provided, which of course is what student unions, quote unquote, traditionally did. I mean, when I went to university back in the Mesolithic period, uh, the uh, just after the Paleolithic period. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't really answer the question, but you know, in an environment like that, it's a bit difficult to, to get something in. I wish I could be just that little bit stupid enough to, to say, wow, he answered my question, it was fantastic. Good stuff, Mr. Rupp, but I can't. No, really can't. Uh, what he said was that, you know, um, they need more funding, that they require more funding, that, that Labour is committed to making sure they get the adequate amount of funding they need for the appropriate facilities, etc. But what does that mean? It means not that much. All the journos will be going off to their respective hotels. I will be going off to my respective hotel. Oh, sorry. Got to add an S to hostel.